This is Gargiulo Farms 2020. I uh, guess you could call it a summer moldboard plowing for the fall tomato crop. This is one of their 8295Rs uh, with a John Deere 995 reversible moldboard plow. Uh, plowing up some ground that's going to be in fall crop tomatoes. Uh, the tank on the front of this uh, tractor is it's either t -Lone or a generic of a chloropicrin that's being injected as be in between the bottoms of this uh, plow and it is a soil fumigant sterilant I don't know I know it's a fumigant but I don't think they consider it a sterilant anymore but it basically it, it uh, fumigates the soil and kills insects diseases and stuff that are in the soil it um, it's used a lot in tomatoes and a fair amount in uh, peanut ground too it uh after they apply this stuff um, if it's a foggy morning and you come by these fields it smells like a wet dog it stinks They're running these six uh, bottom plows deep. They normally bottom plow about around 12 to 13 inches deep. Um, they don't mess around with it. They're not just scratching the dirt. Even with this sandy ground running the bottoms as deep as they run, it puts a load on these 295Rs. And they don't run auto steer there. All these guys are turning the steering wheel for themselves, so they, uh, they do a pretty decent job. So he's going through a clay strip right there and that clay just about stopped him in his tracks even with just six bottoms on his plow. It was actually strong enough to pull him off out of the furrow. actually pulled him into the fur, not out of it. It old plow could use a little bit more setup on it. It seems to be has pretty much uh, a lot of side load on it. 
That's one thing about these uh, switch plow type plows, switch uh, reversible plows. They put a lot of side load on the uh, on the tractor. A regular moldboard puts some on there if it ain't set right, but if these aren't set right, they put a lot. Well, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and check out some of the videos on YouTube under South Georgia Farming. Thanks for watching. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention what today's date is. It is May the 14th of 2020. And he's stopping to go around the irrigation riser. Uh, these tomato fields for this uh, company have risers that are plumbed underground to supply water to the tomato beds. 